Hey everyone, my name is Nasser and today I'm going to actually show you how to correct the stuttering or the lagging inside of Borderlands 3 on PC. Uh, so go ahead and open up your game. I have my Borderlands here. Alright, so you hit options. And then you're going to go to visuals. And there's, this is a two part fix, okay? So first part, again, we're going to go to visuals and then go to advanced. And then you're gonna turn your texture streaming to ultra. And then all this other stuff um, doesn't really matter that much. I, I kind of just moved it around. One quick tip, if you're playing on AMD, because I have a 6800 XT, I actually turned this off. Fidelity FX sharpening is not the setting you want because it uses resources. Um, I didn't know that it used resources at first uh, until I turned it off and I honestly could not tell the difference between uh, the game looking good or bad with it or with it off, with it on or off. So I, I just recommend turning it off completely. Uh, but anyways, um, after you turn your texture streaming to ultra, we're gonna go ahead and close out the game. Actually, so put out, uh, put out the game because you're gonna actually need to put out anyways. And then we're gonna type in exploit protection. Yep, that's it right there. We're gonna hit on that. And then you see how this is control flow guard. Use default, it's on. That's fine, leave it as it is. But we're gonna go to program settings. And I actually already have mine right here. All right, so as you can see, I have mine right here already done. Um, it's okay, I'm just gonna show you how to add another one. We're gonna hit add program. After you've opened up exploit protection, then we're gonna go to program settings, add program to customize and you're gonna choose exact file path, okay? Now, to get to your game, I'm gonna actually include this file path into, into the description below just so that it's easier for you to access it because it took me some time to try to find it. But the easiest way is common. So you're gonna go to your Steam library, Steam apps, common, Borderlands 3, and then oak game binaries and then you're gonna hit 164 and then after you hit 164 from binaries you're gonna get the borderlands 3 logo and that's what you want to click on so you're gonna hit open and we're gonna go ahead and just make another one here and then if you, if you look here it says arbitrary code guard etc we're gonna go down until it says control um, control flow guard cfg and this is not going to be checked so what you want to do is actually check it and turn it off and then you're going to hit apply and then it says changes require you to restart the actual game so that's why it's good to after you go ahead and change your your texture streaming go ahead and just close the game out and then you can reopen the game um, after you've actually done the cfg modifications you're going to hit apply obviously i already have mine so i'm going to hit cancel and you can go ahead and close exploit protection Everything should be running well now. Um, will I say that it fixed a problem 100%? I can't say it's 100% of a fix, but is it like 98% better? Yeah, it's to the point where it's playable. It's actually relatively irritating to play a game when it, you know you have such great hardware and the game plays like you're playing on a literally like on a toaster. So I highly recommend uh, just giving this fix a try. If you're, especially if you're experiencing the lagging or the stuttering that this game is infamous for. And yeah, hopefully it helps you out. I'm gonna go ahead and just throw in some gameplay from this part here, just to show off exactly what I was talking about. See, when the first loads up, you're gonna get a little bit of lag. But you see, I don't know about you guys, but whenever I was running on Sanctuary, I had so much lag that it was unplayable and it just was not fun to play this game. So I'm happy to see that. Looks good. All right, you guys. So thank you again for watching this video. Again, I do hope that it helped you out. If you guys have any questions or concerns, I'll do my best to go ahead and answer those. Just leave your questions and our comments in the comment box below. Um, please leave this video a like if it actually helped you. Leave a dislike if it did not help you. And if you have any questions, again, just leave it in the comment section. Um, thank you guys for watching. Take care.